Morning, John. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you had a good new year. Um, hopefully this year will be better, 2021. Um, yeah, obviously I've been in touch this week already with regards to training, uh, nutrition, stuff like that. Um, obviously we've we've moved your calories uh, back down to kind of maintenance levels, um, still keeping your protein up there, but carbs have been taken down slightly. Um, still, you're still eating a lot, hell of a lot of food, mate, like 3,000... 294 calories training days and 3,194 non-training days. So uh, hopefully you're not too hungry or concerned about the kind of f f changes in food. It's great that you managed to get four weeks solid training in um, at the gym. That's at least gone well. Uh, unfortunately, like you say, they're, they're, they're chopping and changing all the time opening and closing gyms. I wish they'd made the bloody mind up. Uh, anyway, don't want to really get into politics now. Um, you've you've got the plan. You've got the programme. Um, obviously, you had a rest day yesterday, I believe. So I would like you to kind of train today, if possible, and tomorrow. Uh, move into the upper, lower, A and B routine um, as specified on your, on your programme. So it's the home-based one that we did just before in, in November. Um, so you've kind of got your baseline weights there, which I'd like you to try and beat if you can, if you've still got access to the same equipment, which I assume you have. Um, I have if you just note that I have added in some rest periods, which are quite short, fairly short. Two minutes on your kind of bigger focus exercises and, and 1.5 minutes, so 90 seconds on your smaller exercises. And then even one minute on things like calf raises and abs and stuff. Now, my reasoning for that is I know you're going to be training probably outside and it's going to be freezing. So I would prefer for you to have shorter rest periods just to keep your body temperature elevated, your heart rate up, um, and so you can get a bit of a sweat on. So you kind of like, um, essentially, yeah, you're warmer, your muscles are going to be warmer. I don't want to risk injuries and things like that. And you don't want to be out there for ages. Um, hopefully these sessions will take you no longer than an hour. Hopefully more about 50 minutes, sort of like that, if you're strict with your rest periods. Now, I remember last time we had a few issues with your lower back on this programme. Um, and you, you started getting some lower back fatigue. Hopefully that won't be the case this time. Uh, but we'll just have to play it by ear and we can adjust the programme accordingly. Um I do think I'm hope well I'm hoping that gyms we we will move move back down to tier tier three maybe the end of January. Uh, I can't see it lasting longer than a month, or hopefully not. Um, and hopefully, obviously, they're going to get this vaccine out of distributed. So obviously, we'll just ride this routine out until gyms reopen again. Calories at maintenance. Now I have made a note and sort of asked you kind of the question is whether you'd want to start doing a mini cut like dieting. But I feel that we should just do maintenance and keep, well, aim to maintain the muscle mass that we've built rather than dieting. I don't think we want to diet yet. Um, and we'll hope that gyms reopen again, end of January, start of Feb. And that'll give us a good couple of months, bulking, maybe two or three months before you probably want to diet if, you, if you're going away this year um, or diet kind of for summertime and get a bit leaner and see what kind of muscle we've built, especially that back. be interesting to see how we've we've brought that up. But generally, mate, like you say, you, you've been spot on with food. You don't seem to have had any trouble. Uh, well, you, I don't think you will have any trouble bringing your calories down. Um, obviously, steps have come down, which is good, but I'd like you to take them back up again a little bit. So probably averaging about 10,000 a day, just because we're on a maintenance phase. So, you know... Um, we, it doesn't really matter if you're doing more or less, but yeah, I'd prefer you to have that around 10,000 now if you can every day. But other than that, not a lot to change. Obviously, we've changed your food and stuff, but if you've got any questions, mate, let me know um, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, if you could send over your payment today because it's the 1st of Jan, New Year's Day, uh, that'd be great. Um, and then obviously, we're going to carry on this month and do what we can with what we've got. Obviously, if you kind of get access to more kit, that'd be great. But obviously, if not, we can still do what we're doing with, with your basic equipment that you had access to last time. So, all right, and John, let me know if you've got any questions, mate, and I'll speak to you soon.